back to my channel. My name is Anne, if you don't know who I am. And today we're gonna go swimming. Today I have for you a sweat proof, waterproof makeup tutorial in collaboration with Nicole Marie here on YouTube. You can find her in the bio. She is a fellow Ipsy girl, so show her some love. In this video, I share some tried and true products that I like to wear when I go swimming and some new waterproof makeup on the market. So if you want to know what I use to get this look, then please keep on watching and let's do it. First, I'm going to go in with a primer for my face. For all of my products to stick to today, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer because this has silicone in it. I already have moisturizer on my face and that already has SPF 15, but that was just a personal choice. So I'm going to put my SPF on before everything else. For foundation today, I'm going to go with this Pure Lease BB Tinted Moist Cream in SPF 30. I'm choosing this one not because it's waterproof, but because it is lightweight, it gives a decent coverage and gives you benefits, and it's not suffocating my skin. This is in the shade Medium. The formula is sort of a thick cream. It goes on very well, and it covers my imperfections just enough. I'm going to put that on with the Sephora Pro Full Coverage Airbrush Brush as always. For my under eyes, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Wonder Stick in Light to Medium. This isn't a waterproof product again, but I want to do my little under eyes. Next, I'm going to take this NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. Guys, this eyeshadow primer is boss. I mean, anything that will go on top of this is gonna be really vibrant and stick on all day. Better than a lot of primers that I already own. I'm gonna put that all over my lid and go all the way up to the brow because the last thing that you want is sunburn right above where you stop. I'm gonna do my eyebrows with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. This product will stick to your brows especially if you set it with the clear brow gel. So I'm just going to put my brows on first. Any eyeshadow can go over the Proof It Primer, but I'm going to go with cream just to make it last longer. I'm going to take the Color Tattoo by Eye Studio by Maybelline. This is a 24-hour eyeshadow, and this is in the color Bad to the Bronze. So I'm going to go in with a deluxe crease brush and put this on the lid. Just to deepen that up a little bit, I'm going to go in with Charcoal Brown by MAC since powder shadows can go over the proof it. Just to give a little bit of a dimension to the eyeshadow. And I'm taking this with an E25 Sigma brush. Just going in the outer V of my eyes. I'm going to go back to the face a little bit and use this Benefit Deluxe sample set that I got from Sephora. I'm going to use Do The Hula for my contour today to look bronzy, only because I want to look bronzy. I'm going to take the First Prize Highlighters by Benefit, and this is a value set that you can buy from Sephora. And I'm going to take Sunbeam, this little tiny sample size, and I'm going to highlight my face with this. I'm going to take this with a concealer brush by Sonia Kashuk. I'm going to hit the high point of my cheekbone, my nose, a little bit on the forehead, chin, keep its bow, a little bit more on my cheeks, blend that out. And if you really want to go the extra mile, you can put it on your decollete and shoulders. Make it stand out a little bit. To make my blush last, I'm going to use the NYX Rouge Cream Blush in the color Hot Pink to put this on my cheeks just as a base to get it down. Ooh, pigmented AF. I made a heart right there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to leave like this. Mm -hmm. As always, we're going to tap this out. Ooh, this is pigmented. This seems to be my go-to blush to get the base down. Now I know why I stopped using it. Next, we're going to set the face with the NYX Mineral Set It, Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder, and this is in the color Light Medium. I'm going to set the entire face with this, including my eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow, I'm just going to take a little fluffy brush. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to use a MAC 187 Dual Fiber. I'm going to lightly dust this all over the face. 
So the cream is going to stick to your face, but the powder is going to make sure it doesn't slide off. Next, I'm going to take Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color in Jet that I just revived with a little bit of maracuya oil. And then I'm going to take this Sigma Angled Liner Brush and I'm going to wing my eyes. This product is a little bit hard to work with. If you use the right amount of product, it won't budge. For my waterline, I'm going to use the Aqua XL Eye Pencil by Makeup Forever. This is number D12. This is a black waterproof pencil with gold flux in it. I'm going to smoke that liner out a little bit using a Real Techniques accent brush. And for a little bit of pop of color, I'm going to go with the Color Tattoo by Eye Studio in Tenacious Teal by Maybelline. Love the words. I'm using a brow brush for this. I'm going to kind of overlap the blue over the black. Next, I'm going to curl and coat my lashes with mascara. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. And let me tell you, even if this doesn't work for you, this is such a novelty piece. It's very heavy, and there's water droplets on there. It's textured on there. It's, it's, it's just amazing packaging. It's so worth $20 if you include the fact that it has nice packaging. I'm going to set my brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This is going to waterproof my brows, set them in place, and make them look extra flaky. I'm going to take the sample Hula Bronzer and I'm going to bronze up my contour a little bit. I'm taking this with a contour brush by Real Techniques. I went a little bit overboard on my forehead. I'm going to take my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal and go over the Sunbeam with this 300 brush. I like this one because I know it's going to last. It usually is the last thing to go on my face. So I know that it's going to last through the water. I'm going to take the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Blissful. I'm going to use the same brush and sweep it onto the apples of my cheeks. Next, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Dolce. These are long wearing and they claim to be waterproof, so I'm going to put this on my lips. So last thing, I'm going to take the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray and this is for oil control. Miss face two to four times in the X and a T formation. Snaps in a Z formation. Hey. Oh my god. Why well, don't you work? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're just gonna go like this because that's that's how it's gonna work right now. I'm trying to catch the mist on my face. So the mist is going to set all the makeup together, all the powders and creams together to make it last longer. And before I forget, I'm going to kind of highlight the inner corner of my eyes. Just, just because it looks pretty. I'm going to be honest, every time I get in the water, I curl my hair too. So just in case your hair doesn't actually have to hit the water, then we're going to curl our hair. So I'm going to use the Chi Total Protect Defense Lotion. So this is supposed to shield your hair from heat and from chlorine and it adds moisture so I'm going to put this in my hair. It's a travel size so it has like a cool clip thing. It's already open I think. Open it. I'm going to put this in my hair and comb it all the way through. And curl my hair. To curl my hair, I'm going to use the new me 25mm classic wand. This is the pink one. We are going to test this makeup in the pool.
Okay, we are back from sewing and here's the verdict. So let's start with what did stay on. Brows are still there. My eyeshadow for the most part is still there with a little bit of creasing. All my highlight is still there in the inner corners, forehead, some on the cheeks, and a little bit on the nose. My lips are still there for the most part, minus a little bit of wearing off within the inside, but that's to be expected. The waterproof cream color in jet is still there. What didn't really hold up, the foundation didn't really hold up, but that's to be expected too because I used a BB cream for comfort versus waterproof. If I were to choose anything from my collection, I would choose the Revlon Color Stay because this promises to be 24 hours of wear, but this does break down with oil, so I would be careful. The blush didn't stay surprisingly because it was really pigmented. A little bit of more bronze is still there, but most of it has worn off. For the most part, if I would, would have put my base on, I maybe would have had a better result. Everything on this part of my face, for the most part, it's still there. It just faded. Just some tips if you are going to do any waterproof makeup, make sure that you do not smear or rub anything. Whenever you do have water on your face, make sure to dab it. Make sure to dab it. <laughs> make sure to dab your face with a towel and don't rub because a lot of my foundations if I just pat my face it won't transfer but if it's not oily but if I swipe it'll definitely come off in my waterline I am very sad that the waterproof XL liner didn't hold up it actually transferred a lot I do have a transfer problem with my bottom lid no matter what I do I should have set it and that was my fault so I should have set it to see how that would hold up. The 24 hour shadow in the inner corner of the teal, that held up for the most part. It didn't really transfer. I like that. I like that. The mascara is still there, but it did wear down a little bit. But I don't think that's what is transferring down here. Like I started to transfer before I even left the house and that's because everything runs in my waterline, period. So you can avoid putting things in your waterline if you don't want it to run. I think it was a successful date. Do you? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you would like, you can follow me on social media. My links are down below at Makeup Animal. You can follow me on Periscope, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, all the social media that you would like. I'm there. Alright guys, until next time, keep it cute. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Hello, hello. <laughs> Very bronzy, very, very bronzy. <laughs> the ice cream truck man, though. You can't be sleeping in here if you're gonna snore. Uh, snoring. How's your makeup? Good. <laughs> Ready? Wanna go underwater? Okay. Let me do it. Go together. Cute dying. <laughs> if you're you, you gonna look cute dying, you just did it. <laughs>